Alright, this tutorial is going to cover how to use GPS guided bombs. If we click our uh, flight over here, click our airframe, then hit loadout, we can see we have four GBU 38s. We also have two fuel tanks and a targeting pod. So before we fly in and we hit our targets, we're actually going to plan them ahead of time. And we'll do that by hitting right click and then recon on our target. We'll come over here to the target list, we'll hit the plus sign and it'll expand all the targets right here, show us everything we have. So we'll click the first thing, we'll come over here to the recon page and where it says designate as target steer point number, we're going to switch that to 99 and hit accept. We'll pick the next target and we'll come over here, switch that to 98, hit accept. Next target, 97 accept. Next target and then 96 accept. Alright, if you're unsure if like your uh, target steer points actually saved or you hit accept on them, you can bring up your data cartridge down here, click it. On the targets page, you're going to use your arrow keys to cycle your steer points and you can see right here, all four steer points have targets. So we'll come over to comms, we'll hit comm plan, IFF, IFF plan, hit save, and we'll hit takeoff. All right, first thing we're going to do, we're going to check our master arm down here, make sure it's on in the up position. It is. Then we're going to come over here to the ICP, go to air to ground master mode. We'll come down here to our right hand MFD. We'll bring up the SMS page right here. And first thing you want to do is select your weapon. We can see it already says GB38, so we have the weapon selected. So now we have to hit the power off OSB right here. It's going to say power on, and now it's got to warm up. There's a battery on it, so... We'll wait for a minute and we'll go ahead and start flying towards our target steer point. So our target steer point is 99, so we'll come to the ICP, we'll hit the four key steer point, we'll hit 99 and then enter. We'll hit return on the dauber to go back to the main page on the DED. Now on the top right here, you can see we have 99 as our steer point, which is the first target we have. So we're gonna set autopilot. And we are going to speed up the game so the weapon can power up. Okay, down here on the bottom right, on the MFD, you can see it says ready, which means the bomb's warmed up. Before we drop this bomb, we're going to go ahead and hit cursor zero one time. It's the, uh, it says CZ right here on the FCR. This will make sure that our current steer point is selected and not some random target we might have looked at earlier. So, if you look at the HUD right here and we zoom in, on the top right you can see this arrow above this bracket. We're waiting for this arrow to fall down to the bracket. And for our bomb in particular, it's going to go down to the bracket, and once it goes to the bottom of it, that's when we're going to release. So, let's speed it up a little bit more until we get close. Okay, so you can see the arrows came down to the bracket, and it's giving us a countdown. Once that countdown hits zero, we're going to drop our JDAMs. And before we do it, I'll go ahead and give you an idea of what we're going to do. We're going to once we get within range, we're going to press and hold weapon release, and then a switch right here to the left of the dauber. We're going to press down to go to the next steer point, weapon release, and we're going to do that over and over. All right, so right here, we got about 10 seconds left, so we're going to keep on flying this heading. As soon as it gets to zero, I'm going to press and hold weapon release. All right, weapon release. We're going to go down to the next target steer point, 98, weapon release. Go down to the next target steer point, 97, weapon release. And to the last target steer point, which is 96, weapon release. All right. So we'll go ahead and go 3D and watch the bombs and the target. Speed up a little bit. There you go. and all four of the targets.